है एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू वी एफ एक्स वाई वन सकेन सो फाइनली वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर मच अवेटेड लाइव सी जी इंटीग्रेशन सीरीज एंड इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन डू कैमरा ट्रैकिंग इन साइड न्यूक हाउ वी कैन टेक केयर अबाउट लेंस डिस्टोशन हाउ वी कैन चेक आवर ट्रैकिंग एंड हाउ वी कैन सेट अप आवर सीन इन साइड न्यूक फॉर माया यस Today's video will be a very exciting video. Once again, we are going to start a very, very, very good series from scratch. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, as you can see over here, I have a footage, and if I am going to play it, it's a pretty simple footage. Camera is handheld. A character is walking. What I have to do? I have to add a CG character at this place, right? And before doing anything, I don't have any information. of focal length of camera i don't know anything right so first thing first let's see if my project is set or not it's 2k dcp good so first thing i want to calculate lens distortion right because it's mandatory so i'm going to take a node called lens distortion so as you guys know i am not very big fan of new lens distortion so let me update it and let's type one more time lens distortion so probably the old one will come and i am going to use it so let's connect my lens distortion and i am not able to see any kind of straight line but i am assuming that this should be a straight line this should be a straight line although it's not mandatory to do something like that if you are planning a shoot please take your checker board shot just to calculate your lens distortion right but still if we don't have anything i'm going to line drawing mode and probably i'll start drawing it so let me do this probably i'll draw this line right click and probably i will draw one more line you can draw as many as line possible also i can assume this line should be straight so probably i'll start from this place it's not 100% but i'm happy with lines and now i can go and i can analyze lines and it's coming pretty weird so what you have to do you have to keep doing it and after doing multiple attempts you can figure it out your best way of lens distortion right so let me try few more things and i'll come back once this is done okay so i am back with my lens distortion and as you can see this was my original pick and this was my lens distortion so this kind of lens distortion i am feeling it's okay although it's not 100% correct but i think it's okay for me and with this lens distortion i can go ahead right so next target is to track my footage although i can say it's little dull so i can use a grade node just to enhance my contrast something like this and probably i can do sharpening as well but i don't think so it will be mandatory so also i will be needing a mask around this character anything moving apart from camera that movement should be eliminated for better track right so let me mask it out and i'll come back once this is done okay so i have my mask and you can see manually i animated it as per my character is going forward so after that i have to take a node call camera tracker and in camera tracker i can add my mask now i'm going over here in setting i can see preview features and as you can see my features are coming on characters as well so what i have to do i have to tell camera tracker node that you need to mask this area how i can do that just go over here and in mask just select mask alpha what will happen not a single tracker or feature will come on my character because it's already masked apart from that i'm going to increase my values to till 800 probably i am not needing that much but since i'm doing it for a better track feature suppression might be 8 and after doing everything 
I am going over here and I will say track. So it will track forward and it will come backward again. Once this is done, I'll be back. This is done. Let me check if anything is not correct. So I think it's looking pretty fine to me and directly I'm going to solve it. It will take some time to solve and my tracking has been solved, right? Many track points are not tracked or good track. Again, my error is pretty good, but uh, I'm going over here. And as you guys know, I need to delete rejected and delete unsolved. After that, I can do probably three and six and again, delete rejected, delete and solved. I think it's pretty much correct. And over here, I'm going and probably I'll do one more thing. I will refine it, refine my solve one more time. And I think it's pretty much OK to me. And I'll go over here and directly I can create my scene. OK, after creating my scene, as I'm seeing, my scene is not oriented. So what I'll do I'll go over here in my camera tracker and just go to right side and it should be on ground. I'm going to scene and probably in Y axis, I'm going to lift it something like that. Also, I can take my camera a little backwards because my full setup should be over here, right? Again, I'm going in my front view and if I can see, see it's rotated, little rotated. So probably I will rotate something like this and little down. So I think it's pretty much OK to me. And if I'm going to see in perspective, everything is set. I can see these are the pillars and these are the back walls, right? It's pretty much satisfactory. Now camera is moving as per my footage, right? So after that, what we have to do if we want to check my tracking, how tracking is going on. So what I can do, I can take a node called model builder, right? So I'm going to take model builder node and directly I will connect it to my scene. And over here, I'm going to select my camera, right? And this will be my source. This will be my camera, right? So camera is seeing whatever thing is going on, something like that. Can you see that? Yeah. Now what I have to do, I have to model few things like I want to model pillar so that I can know the exact position of my characters, right? Or it will help us to check our tracking, right? So I'm going over here in shape defaults. I'm going to take a probably cube. And if you see rows one, column one, slices one, it's all okay. Click and drag what will happen. Your cube will in your scene. So on first frame, I'm going to position it. Probably I'll do this just to check my positions. And second point I will put over here. Third point I'll put over here and automatically you can see probably I'll put here. Take time to manage your shape and fourth one automatically it will be placed. So probably I want till here so I can do this. And let me adjust my points. So I think it's fair enough, right? If you want, you can do this. You can you can uh, extrude it and you can start modeling and rebuilding it. It will be your choice. Now, keep it in mind that if you are using model builder node, so if you are setting your positions of your uh, any 3D element with your reference or with your footage. So you need to adjust in some different frames as well so that 3D data or 3D element will get exact position from your camera, right? So first thing first, let me show it to you what I mean that. So this is you can see my camera and this is you can see my mesh, although it's not synced in position. So what I have to do just go over here and go some some random frames or probably frame number 100 and let's adjust it. Now we are adjusting positions, right? Position to camera. So we need to adjust position to camera as well. Something like that. Right. And now if we we'll go to perspective, your mesh already in place, right? So I'm going to model few more shapes and I'll come back once this is done. Okay, so what I did, I modeled my this thing and if I'm going to play it, it's working pretty fine to me, right? 
Now just to check what I'm going to do in model, I'll select my cube and card. I'll go over here. I'll select it. And after that, I'm going to bake it. So as I'm going to bake it, I will have my this thing. So probably I'll deselect it node selection and I'm going to disable my mod model builder and I'm going to connect it in my scene node and what exactly my scene looks like in 2d I have to take a node called scanline render and I'm going to connect my camera and this will be my scene right and if I'm going to merge it with my background which will be this I'm getting this right so let me add one texture or probably I will do node called grid right I'll take a grid and if you can see I'm getting grid and in grid probably I'll do numbers will be like two right something like that and if you can see on grid width should be like three or four it's working pretty fine now I'm having this and this after adding grid to my this thing what I can do I can take a merge node and I can merge my background and merge my foreground and just see I'm getting this thing but we need to do one more thing because this is my distorted data and so I have to re-distort it back so I'm going to copy it I'm going to paste it over here and let's not use undistort just uncheck it because what will happen if I'm going to uncheck it my this data will be re-distorted again after doing that if I'm going to play it I can easily see it's going with my camera movement let it buffer once this is done I'll come back okay as you can see over here my 3d elements are going with the motion that means my tracking is correct right so this is very important to understand the process of lens distortion so I hope you will have an idea how we have to do lens distortion camera tracking and how we can use our model builder node just to check the quality of camera tracking so I hope this video will help you and if you think that this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is VFX Vibe signing off have a good day